Alrighty, I've gotten Pop OS to run on the Raspberry Pi 4. Well, I mean, I kinda did. So, I'm gonna explain to you guys what this is. So, it definitely does look like Pop OS, doesn't it? And it feels exactly like Pop OS, but I'm sad to say this isn't official Pop OS. So, what I've done basically is I've like taken all the Pop OS themes, the window tiling manager, and implemented it inside of Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. So it feels the same, it looks the same, everything is the same except it's not real Pop OS and you still have all those Ubuntu repositories rather than having those Pop OS ones. But there is no official Pop OS build for the Raspberry Pi 4 so as of now this is the closest thing you're going to get to Pop OS. But I mean it's really cool and I'm loving it so I'm going to go over and just show you guys what we actually do have included in this version of Pop OS on the Raspberry Pi. So to get started, this is the Pop! OS desktop. It is Ubuntu 21.04. I use the desktop image, and I'm using Wayland as my desktop manager right now. So I go over to my settings. So in my settings right here, if I scroll down to the bottom, give it a second to load up. We scroll down right here, and my windowing system is Wayland. So Pop! OS with Wayland seems to be fully functional. So that is actually really cool. So I'm using the 8GB Pi, and you still you see I still have the Ubuntu logo because this still is Ubuntu rather than being Pop! OS. And so now let's go over the features. So I took away that Ubuntu dock right here because Pop! OS actually does not include that. And if I click Activities right here, it brings up the normal No menu, and I have my favorite applications right here. And then if I were to want to look at all my applications, I click right here, show applications, and all my icons are the same as Pop! OS. So it looks really pretty in my opinion, because I'm actually a huge fan of those icon themes, and it does look really awesome. So this is Pop! OS on the Raspberry Pi. And let's say I want to search for something, it feels just like normal Ubuntu, but we said it, it does look like pop os and the one of my most favorite things that i do want to mention is the window tiling manager i was able to compile that and get it running on the raspberry pi 4 and i'm just a huge fan of this thing it is so awesome so i'm going to showcase what it is basically so i open up another application like the file manager and it automatically tiles it on window to window and we have this really nice space in between and it just looks amazing we click right here to see there's different shortcuts you can actually change them and our hint color there's so much you can do with this i just love it and let's say i want to switch between the windows you hit the super key which is the windows key on your keyboard and you hit the y and look it close that up i click it one more time it switches their places i hit it one more time and it closes it so you can actually disable the window tiling manager if you don't want it and if you do want it, just hit Windows key Y once more, and it adds you right back into that tiling manager. So man, I'm a huge fan of this window tiling manager. It feels so amazing, and I just love it, because it makes workflow so much easier. And when you want to switch between tabs, you just hit the Windows key and the arrow keys, and you're actually just be, you're actually able just to switch between them. So I tap like NeoFetch in here, and I have NeoFetch. So if we look right here, my theme is the Pop! OS Dark, and my icons is the Pop! OS, and my shell is, no, well, you don't see shell on here, but, okay, so now let's talk about how I actually was able to get this running on the Raspberry Pi 4. So if we go over here, I have actually this open in another desktop right here, and you see it's actually turning really well. This was is actually incredibly responsive. Wayland is actually really good for the Raspberry Pi and Ubuntu. I am actually surprised. So, oh man, what's happening right here? We got a little bug in the website right here. What is going on? Oh, here we go. Okay. So, if we go right here to the Pop! OS GTK theme GitHub page, and we scroll down, we actually see right here that they have a whole way to install it. So, what you do basically is you just copy these commands right here, you add the repository, and this repository actually includes all the needed Pop! OS themes and everything like that. So, you just copy this command right here in your terminal, and then what you're going to do next is actually you have to go ahead and open up GNOME Tweaks, which you can actually just install with sudo apt install GNOME Tweaks if you don't know how to do that. Give it a second to launch. And then right here, what you actually have to do is you go over to Appearance and then Applications. You can change that either to Pop or Pop. Pop dark or pop. So pop is more of like a light theme, which kind of it does look good in daylight. But I'm a bigger fan of the pop dark. It's easier on your eyes and it just feels a lot better. The cursor you can just change it to pop, and the icons pop too. 
and then the shell you're gonna want to do that to pop dark pop, because the shell is what really changed the whole thing so you're gonna want that and the sound you're gonna you're gonna want to do pop and then you can actually download the wallpaper from the from the internet and bam you basically have pop os on the raspberry pi 4 and it's that easy you just type in these three commands on ubuntu basically and it does it all but one thing you're going to be missing is you're not going to have the window tiling manager which i was surprised that i even got this working so how i did is actually i found this github page right here or not github what website on how to install the pop shell on ubuntu so you actually just have to install these dependencies for Ubuntu and then you get clone the project you CD into the folder and you make local install after that you actually have to do one more thing you have to install GNOME extensions so I'll, I'll leave a link down below on how to do that and you actually have to open up extensions after installing the window tiling manager and then you have to enable pop shell once you enable pop shell this window tiling manager application thing will pop up on the top right here for you and you'll be able to play around with pop OS on your raspberry pi with the functioning window tiling manager so it's really cool that it works this well and i just love this window tiling manager it feels so awesome this like gave me a reason to actually want to use ubuntu on the raspberry pi so i'm just a huge fan of this and it's super awesome so let's take a look at our system resource usage right now and see how much we are actually using. So I'll open up my terminal. And right here, if I type htop, right now on idle, we're using about 1 gig of RAM. So the Pop OS did not change anything in how much RAM we're using because normal Ubuntu uses 1 gigs of RAM too. So it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it is a lot for the Raspberry Pi, but running GNOME is a heavy desktop environment. And that is basically what you get with running GNOME on the Raspberry Pi. And our CPU cores, of course, are pretty normal. Nothing odd there. But so system resource usage is pretty normal to say. And that is, I turned the tiling off on accident. But that is that for the system resource usage. Web browsing, everything like that is going to be as smooth as GNOME as Ubuntu GNOME. Everything is going to be the same. Performance is the same. You even have the same app store because this is still Ubuntu. You don't get the pop shop. You don't get the normal GNOME applications that you expect on Pop OS because this is still Ubuntu. Basically, all I've done is I've downloaded Ubuntu, installed the themes, installed the shell, installed the window tiling manager, and bam, that is what it is. But I do want to say it feels incredibly snappy. Like I'm just launching this thing and it just feels so darn snappy. I just love this thing, man. It is working so incredibly well and it just feels so smooth. I've had an amazing time with this and I love Pop OS on the Raspberry Pi. That's all I can say. It's not official Pop OS. But I just love it because it's working so well and it just feels amazing. So yeah, this is Papa Wes running on the Raspberry Pi 4, but kind of. But I totally recommend you guys doing this because you get this awesome window tiling manager. You get a pretty slick looking desktop and the theme does look pretty cool. I like the icon theme, the file manager, everything. They all look really pretty. The icons, it's super well optimized. And... It would be cool to actually see an official Pop OS image for the Raspberry Pi in the future, but I have no idea if that's even in the works because they're actually working on a cosmic desktop, which is going to be Pop OS its own desktop environment, kind of, but it's still based on GNOME. But it would be cool to see that running on the Raspberry Pi 2. But yeah, so this is Pop OS running on the Raspberry Pi 4. So tell me down below what you think about this, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.